Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and iOS 18.2 has recently been released bringing a ton of new features and changes to your iPhone. Now in today's video, we'll talking about new features and changes that this update has brought to your iPhone and I will show you guys 10 amazing features that I believe every iPhone user must know. Now these are non-Apple intelligence features, so everyone will get these features on their device. First of all, we're talking about Shazam or music recognition, whatever you want to call it. So whenever you have identified a song starting with iOS 18.2 and you have your location services turned on and of course Shazam has access to your location, then it will save you the place where you have recognized that song. So let's say I'm out somewhere and I recognize this song using Shazam, right here it will show you on this place a pop-up with like a mini-map that will look something similar like this one, where it will show you the location from where you have recognized that song on your device. Next up, we're talking about passwords. Now with iOS 18, you know that we have a new passwords app that Apple has created for your iPhone. And now with iOS 18.2, we have a brand new feature, which is pretty useful. So go under apps here and search for password. And what you will find here is a new option that will actually allow you to save passwords. So right here, we have this one, save passwords, ask when signing in and then you can switch to do not ask when signing in. So right there, passwords will be saved when you sign in on an app with or website, of course, with like different passwords or different credentials that you haven't used before. So you will have two options now to ask you to save them when you sign in or not to ask at all. And this just save them when anytime you sign in on a website or maybe even an app. Moving on to the podcast app, and we have a great new feature here for the podcast. So when you go to your library on podcasts, you will find here categories. You go to categories, and then you will find here your favorite categories. So you can see right here, they have a star right there, which will basically favorite them. And then you will have all kinds of like different categories here. You can just go to one of them, or you can maybe just tap the play button right there to start playing. You can always manage your categories right here. You can add suggested ones, or you can find in categories right there. And the ones that you have favorited before, you can unfavorite them from here. So it's actually a very, very nice and very useful new way to actually manage your podcasts and of course even explore and find new podcasts you might want to listen. Moving on to the photos app and you can see we have a video right here and if you have a device on iOS 18.2 you will notice something different here. So just notice the progress bar right there, the video will finish, but it doesn't stop. It will actually loop and it will stay like that for as long as you're on this screen. Now this is a new feature of iOS 18.2 that allows to loop videos on the photos app. Now you will have to enable this feature and you will have a switch where you can enable or disable it. Simply head on to your settings and go to photos here under the app section. And then right here, you will find a new option to actually enable or disable loop videos for your photos app. Moving on to the Photos app. Now with the Photos app on iOS 18, we have a new change here on the recently viewed section. So with the recently viewed pictures, now you will be able to actually remove any picture you want from here. So think about this as a history for your photos. Just like on the browser, you have the history where you can select an item and remove it. Now you can remove a photo from your recently viewed. So you 3D touch on the photo and you can use this button to actually remove remove that photo. Now, what's also really cool is that you can do that with multiple pictures or videos simply by tapping the select button. And then once you have selected your photos or videos, you can just tap right here on the three dots and tap on remove recently viewed photos and you're good to go. Now, what's really cool is also that Apple has brought back the swipe here to go back on pages on the photos app. Now this used to be before, but it was removed with iOS 18. Now you can quickly go back just like that. Another great new feature on iOS 18.2 is the tint on the icons on the settings app. So you can see right here, we're on the dark mode and we have 
right here dark mode icons but if we go to the home screen right here and choose to tint the icons you will see that the icons on the settings app will actually match the ones on the home screen as you can see they have turned into tint icons as quick as that it's actually pretty cool they look really good like this also another place you will see this is when you go to share something so if you're trying to share something you will see here the icons will also be tinted with the same co colors as the icons on the home screen of your device moving on to the settings app and here we have a pretty cool new feature head on under the accessibility settings and then go to here audio and visuals and what you will find here is something new that apple has added with ios 18.2 it is called add audio in calls so what you can do here is enable this feature and what it does is that any audio from apps alongside with the audio from the microphone can be added to a call so it's basically basically the audio that you get out of an app can be listened on your phone call if you're on a phone call let's say you have an app playing music that audio will be heard on the phone call so that's what that is and right here it basically explains how it works and also it says that muting the microphone of your device will also mute the sound from the other apps Another great new change that Apple has added to iOS 18 with 18.2 is the ability to now use natural language when searching on the music app or even the TV app. So you don't have to specify songs or all albums or maybe even artists. You can just search for things that you can think of like I can search for 90s hip hop music here. So right here I can search for 90s hip hop and it will actually find here the top results, albums, playlists and all that. It's as easy as that. You can use the same, basically the same way to search for movies and anything you want on the TV app. Moving back here to the Photos app. Now one thing I really like about the Photos app is that now anywhere you go on the Photos app on any album like the recently viewed for example here or maybe the recently edited I can just go anywhere I want here and it will actually show me the number of the items that that album contains right here so whether you're on your albums your utilities anywhere you will see the number of items right there and last but not least we're talking about Safari so with iOS 18.2, Safari has gotten some pretty cool updates. We have new wallpapers, the ability to import and export data for Safari, and this right here, the ability to see your downloads on the dynamic island. So you will see it right here, you will see the progress of your download. You will also will have the ability to actually cancel or stop your download from here. Now the same goes for the lock screen as well. You will also have this as a live activity on the lock screen of your iOS 18.2 device. So that is it for this video guys. These are 10 features that Apple has added to iOS 18.2 that I believe every iPhone user must know and use on their device because they're pretty cool. And of course, most of them are actually very, very useful as well. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you on the next one.